Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Well, good evening. We're back again. It's uh, it's Monday night. It's nine o'clock, and it is time to tin your tip with myself, Gary Dibley, and the mod master that is Mark. Now, this week uh, I'm going to have to waffle a lot less because uh, I've cut it quite close, shall we say? Um, this week we, we put a request out, um, obviously uh, in last week's show, um, for you guys uh, a couple of suggestions as as to what you wanted to see. Now, one of the uh, one of the mods that was requested, and I do apologise if you hear a dog barking in the background. I will shoot it as soon as I start these videos. Um, somebody asked us to look at the uh, the nine volt uh, little LED nine volt nine LED torch mod, which I believe was Mad Ray, um, and uh, I'm taking a look at him. I'm not taking a look at him. I'm going to take a look at that for him this week. And uh, and Sav, our very own Sav, uh, requested something with uh, with USB charging. Uh, so Mark is is looking at introducing uh, a bit of USB into uh, into the mod he's currently revitalising. Um, with all that said, uh, I will crack into our, our first little bits of vids. Uh, as I say, it is going to be uh, very very tight this week. Um, so without further delay, we get into the uh, nine LED torch mod, especially for Madre. Okay, so we're back uh, another week, and following on from uh, from requesting um, what you'd like to see um, in last week's show, we've had some really good suggestions coming through on the forums. Um, we will be working our way through those, I do believe. Um, but as I said last week, it's what we have to hand, um, what we can work with. Now, I do happen to have a selection of the uh, nine LED torches. Um, somebody said, "Could you do something?" with one of these um, and I think I'm in, in quite a good position to, to be to be looking at that one um, <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to use the blue one purely because I want a blue one um, you can pick these up at you know, pound shops and god knows where I've done a little bit of the prep work um, I've currently got a, an AW14 sorry 18490 uh, which this is going to take um, I've got one on charge over there. Um, the other thing that I've started to sort of prep is I'm going to put an ego type connection um, in one of these. Now I was going to try and tie the two together um, and switch this um, with uh, with an ego connector. Um, but what I'm going to do, I've, I've sort of uh, I'm going to use a normal switch to start with, um, and uh, the ego uh, fitting I, I may get to at another point. But I want to I want to turn this one around quite quickly if I can today um, just to show you what I've prepped up so far I have my little sort of sub standard sub micro switch here and what I've done is I've just taken a little tiny noggin just knock the casing back ever so slightly there you can see on one side with the Dremel um, reason for that will, will become clear a little bit later on and my ego connector now what I've done on the ego connector is literally with the Dremel run down either side and just taking a chunk off the top again you will see where that comes in um, if you're going to use this as a, as a whole ego connector it doesn't actually fit where we want it to go so I've had to sort of take away half of that to make it to do its job but as I say that will all become clear a little bit later on but it's just sort of cutting out a couple of steps so we can crack on with this and, and try and wrap this up in, in, in one show um, reason for that, hopefully uh, next week, um, if things go to plan, uh, we'll be starting to look at the uh, uh, something to do with a Vamo board. Our torch. First step in the torch, I always find, is uh, remove the base. That's always a good point. Now these things creak and squeak and God knows what. Now normally you would have a little sort of three volt, uh, three volt, a three double A battery compartment in there. First thing we've got to do is, is relieve it of, of, um, of its gubbings on the top here. Now, the way that I do that, um, one of two ways. I've got a uh, me old trusty chisel here. Now, I know that that fits perfectly down inside there. Now, I'm going to give it a bang um, on a hard surface downwards, and sometimes that will pop the top off. If it doesn't, we've got to actually physically sort of uh, take it out. But something hard. Um, a socket, uh, you know, a socket, a socket wrench or something like that that you know will fit up inside. 
Give me two secs when I go away and have a quick bang. And this one isn't going to come. No, it did. There we go. So right the way through, and I've, I've literally just applied pressure on the inside of there, on the board, and pop the top through. A little clear cap. Oh, a lens. I wouldn't call it a lens, isn't it? It's a bit plastic. Um, and then we're left with uh, with our circuit board here. Now, what we've got to do with our with our circuit board is remove it from this outer housing here and there you'll see your nine LEDs all inside. Now what we're going to do with this is we're going to sort of start taking out all the soldery bits. So I've got my iron which is uh, which is already hot uh, and I'm going to start by just removing the spring and I'll put the spring to one side because we want to keep that now for your LEDs, I try. I find that the easiest way to do it is just to heat up the two prongs at the same time, give the uh, the little LED a wiggle from the other side, and they tend to fall through. So just heat them up, give them a wiggle, and they fall through. Now I'm not too worried about. Um, you'll see that there's solder and bits and pieces going everywhere on on the top. I'm not going to really worry with that. The one thing I will say, when you're doing these, if you can work quick, it's a, it's a downside easier because they get blooming hot. Obviously you're, you're on a, a track. And then final one is the middle one. So there's my, my little disky bit with all my LEDs off. You can either stick your LEDs to one side, save them for another day, or bin them. Um, I shouldn't be saying that. We should be recycling. What I'm going to do now with this board um, and you'll probably see if I go down a little bit further on this board here where you had if you like your pos and your negs running round for the, of the LEDs you've got a, uh, a ring here which runs all the way around the outside and you've got a little centre post here that pops up so you've got this ring here running round pops up on that middle bit there to another pin which joins your, uh, you know, your spring, your plus and, and your minus on there. This this one here, or not doesn't join them, but your, your middle LED will be running across there. These outer points here are what actually earth this board to the uh, to the inside of the of the torch. So this will give you your earth feed. Um, now we're not particularly too worried about those. What I'm actually going to do is go away and take all of this track off, just leaving me these two holes in the middle. The reason for that, when I've got my spring on and my battery's in place, I don't want my battery to, to force and sh put a short on you know, between the two pins when it's in the mod. So I'm going to pop away now, I'm literally with, uh, with a, a cutting disc on a Dremel, just going to take most of this off by my, by my centre pin. I'll get that done and I will come back in two. If you can find the button. switch which will go in with a little bit of pressure battery connection so now all we need to do is just wire everything together that will have cleaned up and to save a little bit of time I've soldered uh, tinned up all the wires ready to go in and on this base plate, if I can, there we go, get in the camera. What I've done is when I removed the spring, I've put the wire through the hole that held the spring in place, bent it over, and just sealed it all in place with a good dollar solder. 
So now all you do is solder up the atomizer connector with the switch and we're pretty much done. So put tin up on the solder. Side edge and the positive. Of course, taking care not to short the two out together. So, first off, the negative. You just want to run a bead of sort of, run a bead of super glue around the outside of it to hold it in place. But I shall work on that later. So as you can possibly tell, I'm going to switch the negative here because it was just easier to do it that way around. So just pop the switch in. It's in nicely there. You can add a bead of super glue again to the inside just to hold it all in place. I just want to put the wires through the holes. And give them a quick touch with soap. Little compact mod, and compared to some like the Evic, rather short, nice, powerful device. Should be a treat. See you on the next day.
Right, so very carefully with the Dremel, I've, I've taken off uh, the, all of the, the PCB that's, you know, that's printed on the top of there. I only want this middle pin, um, and that is going to uh, ensure that I don't get any shorts between the, um, the casing and, and my centre pin if, if the battery was to slip or, or something like that. Moving on, I'm going to go on to, to my switch. Now, the little switch that we've got here, what I'm going to do is just bend back. Obviously what I've done is, is knocked out a little bit on, on one end. I'm just going to bend back the pin so it touches the body on that side and bend back the other pin. I'm just going to stick it in the uh, in, in a little vise. And what I need to do on there, now I don't know if I can get down so I can see this, but you can see that's now touching against the body there. And what I want to do is literally just now solder, it's got shaky hands today, solder the top. So just solder that pin and solder it to the, uh, to the body. So my pin is soldered to the body of the model. I'm just going to flip that out the other way, bearing in mind these are up. Put a dab of solder on the top pin there. Tin up a, uh, a little bit of wire. We've got a scrap bit of wire here. And I'm just going to pop that on the top there. Now the reason for that, because I'm not going to be using the, uh, the earth off this to the body, I'm actually going to be using the, uh, the switch to carry the earth. So when I've drilled out my case, this is actually going to be making contact with the case. So I'm, I'm switching, if you like, the, uh, the, the, the current's coming up through the case. They're coming up through here. Now before it gets to my atty, um, other side here is going up to the neck of the atty. And when I press that switch, it's forming the circuit with the case. Very easy way of getting an, a, a decent enough earth on, on, the, on the torch body because these sometimes, under the pressure of battery, will lift the board. If it didn't matter how well you got them fixed, that, that's obviously relying on three blobs of solder against the, uh, the body of the torch. Um, and sometimes when you put a battery in, it can lift that up ever so slightly and, and break, the, uh, break the contact, as it were. So, onto my, uh, onto my little disc that we've got here. And what I'm going to do is just tear up a bit of wire here. And let me just see if we can get down and show you how we handle the other side of the board. So our switch is done. I'm just feeding a tin bit of wire up through one of the holes, like so, bending that over. And you have to excuse me, this is all fiddly buggery. He's losing everything. So it's through there. And then what I'm going to do is just dab a solder on the top of that across the two and then I'm going to bring in my spring that we had um, earlier and I'm just going to pop that down central over there so I don't have to get my hands in the way while I'm doing this and just solder that spring back on top of the wire there so now when this disc pops in face down like so I've got my Connection coming off there to my POS wire, which is uh, you know, going to be permanent or neg, it doesn't really matter which way you put the battery around in this. And my switch there is going to be carrying the, uh, the, the current up through the body. I'm going to go away now and, and the next stage is, is going to be to literally um, drop this down in here. Drop your disc back inside and roughly gauge out where you want to drill for your switch to, to pop through. Um, so, again, you just need a bit that's going to be about the size of, uh, of your switch. Um, these switches, as you'll see, when they're actually in there, you know, that's the reason I use this small switch. Um, there's not much room to, uh, to sort of work with. I'm going to go away and, and drill this up um, and uh, I'll pop back in two. And there we go, first little section of our 9 LED uh, torch mod. And uh, obviously Mark's little bit on his, uh, on his regeneration project, we're going to call it. I'm going to slip into our first little set of ad breaks. Um, as I say, 
a lot to get through tonight. Sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. in Yorkshire for your ECAs. That's iVeber.co.uk and iVeber-Elixir.co.uk iVeber and iVeber-Elixir.co.uk Proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv Liberty Flight sponsors 10-Year Tip with Gary Dibley. And there we go, we're back in the room once again. Before we uh, before we whiz on uh, to the next little section, I just want to show you something. Um, I've been I've been dismantling again um, in in an, in an effort and an attempt to uh, to get that damn display working. Um, but but as of yet, um, all attempts have been uh, absolutely pointless. Um, yes, it's still still functioning, but uh, but the display is is most definitely dead. I've tried everything now um, possibly I can. Uh, so let's crack on with our with our vids. Uh, here we go. Catch you back in a minute. Okay, so I've been away and I've I've drilled um, the hole for my switch, and I've I've simply just fed that through and and tightened uh, tightened that nut up on the outside. What I've also done is just trimmed back my uh, my wire on on the uh, other end. So you'll find that with when it's done like this, when your switch is actually in place, you'll be able to slot this disc down under your switch, and that will pop back up. And then you've literally got your pos and your neg wires coming off there. Let's just take this back out, and I'll show you what I mean about the way that's earthed if, if you see what I mean and how the switch will work and just turn on the uh, on the fluke get a bit of beepage going so I've got me beeps now if I hold one on the inner screw thread here and come up to my wire here I've got nothing nothing at all however on the body of my case or my switch case there, if I touch that I've got continuity. Now if I hold that on the other end of the wire and press down on the switch, bear with me one second, which is difficult. I've got continuity. So it's pretty much like we were talking about when we were doing the drawings, um, you know, the other day, um, and we were talking about carrying the uh, the, the current via the body, um, and all we're doing is is really interrupting that before it hits the uh, the atomizer end. Um, so literally, we're we're earthing, or, or our switch is, you know, one of the tabs is soldered to itself. Um, so the switch, when you hit that interrupts uh, either the pos or the neg up to the attic connection. Simply our next stage is, is going to be to, to, to bring in um, our chopped around um, attic connector that we've got. I'm just going to pop that into, uh, into a holder here uh, and let me just go down on that. And all I'm going to do now is just literally um, solder this up. 
So a dab down in the middle for our pause. And what I'm going to do is just on one of these edges, it makes these very easy to solder now. On one of the edges, I'm just going to run a bead of solder down there. So I can pop my disc and my pause wire, just hold that in place, stick that down there. That was terrible. I thought that took too easy. He's having a mare today with, uh, with soldering for some reason. Let's try that again. He says. So we can just pop that down in, dab a solder, and hopefully this time it isn't going to bleed and come out. That's down in there and that's held. Now obviously I've got my body of me, uh, of me mod here with this wire already on. Bead of solder on that side. And I've got my ATSI connection connected. So as that looks at the moment, outside the mod, I've got my switch running up um, to the outer and I've just got a simple disky thing with my POS pin on. Essentially that is all of the connections um, for this mod. What we need to start looking at doing now is, is piecing together. Now you'll see one of the reasons that, that I've taken a chunk off of this edge, if I feed this board down inside, you'll see that when that connector goes up, and I'll see if I can get down so we can have a look at this. The reason for cutting that chunk out of the one half of that is so it doesn't interrupt on the switch. You can see down inside there, cutting that half out enables that to sit centrally over the top of the switch without shorting the two together and it gives it a good key to hold. Now what I'm going to do is go away and heat up the glue gun for our first first portion of this fix um, because I'm going to be feeding hot glue down in there just to get this um, not set and it won't be that's not your permanent fix but it holds the board in place and it will give, uh, give your Atti a, um, a good key for our final, uh, our final fix. So I'm going to pop away get the, uh, the glue gun hot and uh, I'll come back ever so shortly after this. So, as you saw in the last video, here we have the completed finished mod. It takes an 18650 battery, but I'm not happy. Uh, it may be a completed mod, but I'm not finished with it yet. As this mod has a big space here, and I really don't want to waste the space. So what I was thinking is, I could add a little USB charger to it. I think there's just about enough room to fit this in. So, I'm going to have a bit of a play with it. So, first off I need to mark out a piece of this base plate to cut out. Because this plate will be in the way of where I want to go through the USB. So just a quick marker pin. Cross what I want to cut out. And then I need to carefully pop this out. Try not to damage the wires. And it's on with the Dremel again. So turn your volume down now.
course try not to cut your spring at the same time. I think I just did. Oops. And try not to stall a bit. Eventually, I managed to cut out that without doing too much damage to myself. So, now, pop the now shortened spring back in place. I just want to check. Yeah, it still holds in fairly well. This would be ideal if you've got a longer battery. It doesn't fit into other mods. But never mind. So now I've got the little USB board, which I'm looking to fit in somewhere about there. So it's basically going to sit like that. It's going to be at a slight angle. That'll do no harm. So now I just need to mark out a hole for the USB. I'm going to use the Dremel still. It's this pointed bit. Sort of a diamond crusted bit, I think. At least that's what they tell you on the packaging. I don't know how accurate that is. I'm just going to try and work the hole through from the opposite side. So, basically I've just melted a hole straight through this. More of a melt than a cut, to be honest. And now I'll just try and size this up. As you can see, I need to take a bit more off the top, but pretty much there. That's about as close as it gets, so I'm going to have to grab a USB cable and chest it. Chest it? Chest it. So it's going to work like that, so it's uh, a slight angle. It should sit nice and flush with it. Well, it appears to be fully engaged at that point, so I will be safe to glue this in place now. As I'm going to glue first and then solder up, just to make life a little bit easier. So I need my trusty clear epoxy I think for this. So a piece of card to mix on and something to mix it with. Which I seem to have lost. Back in a sec. Got the mixer. So as always Even mix and mix it in small amounts. Right, so uh, my glue gun's been heating. This is where uh, an old um, ego type atomizer is, is always useful. Um, what I tend to do at this stage is, is to screw uh, an ego atty just on the top there and you'll see why in a second. I'm just positioning my board down inside there with my Ego Atty attached. So you might need something to help you 
pop that down just so it sits nicely he's looking for something and his screwdrivers are all over the other side but what I'm doing is just positioning that board down damn me one second down inside there so it's got a nice snug fit in the bottom now what I tend to do at this point is to feed a bit of glue he says not getting everything flying actually just up inside that atomizer connection and letting that feed down inside the mod so you just don't fill it all the way up but just enough that you can then seat your, your atty down in that hot glue give it a squirt around of it and literally what we're going to do is just use that as that sort of sets off we're just going to hold that in position um, and manipulate it around so it's central this that and the other um, to get our first fix so while I hold this hot glue I'm going to pop away and I'll come back into um, takes about sort of five minutes to to hold this as it gets harder you can sort of centralize it up position it in the middle and you know get your your right level and this that and the other with it so just to make sure everything's sitting up and it's level and this that and the other um, I won't tip it up I might do a little bit but roughly you know it's starting to harden up now just need to manipulate it around a bit centralize it up um, make sure we've got it where we want it where it's level I'll pop away I'll hold the glue I'll come back in two So there we go, we are cracking on rather nicely. And uh, speaking about cracking on, I need to run into our second ad break, um, which are down there somewhere. Uh, I'll pop back very shortly after this. Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. And there we go, we're back in the room. Um, I, was, I was just reading uh, a few comments uh, that, that were popping up in, in chat uh, while the, the ads were running there. Very good question raised. Um, would it not be easier to use a, a two part uh, epoxy? Um, you know, the, the liquidy stuff, the stuff that I hate with a passion. Um, one or two reasons I don't use that the the hot glue I find sets off a lot quicker it's easier to manipulate and get it in the right position a hell of a lot quicker than it is using the runny horrible damn epoxy um, the other reason is uh, because that sets off uh, quite a bit quicker um, in some instances it's uh, it can run through the holes and I've, I've tried the uh, the epoxy in there there are micro holes in there and that the, the the gunky epoxy tends to go through there as I said this this stage well you know the, the first stage with the hot glue um, the purpose of that is really just to position our atty it's not going to be the permanent fix it's not the way that we're holding it as you'll see in the videos coming up um, it is literally a positioner 
um, and that uh, that hot glue because you fill it up to a certain level as well the one thing I didn't say in there it also acts as a bit of uh, insulation between or added insulation between the the top of the switch and the ATI connector if you put the epoxy in there it just drains down you've got to fill it right the way up that stuff coats the switch it dries pretty much instantly as soon as it hits the, 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 the coldness of the switch and when you push your ATI down in you get an insulation layer as well so it is twofold um, everybody has uh, you know their own ways of doing things um, those are the reasons uh, and, and the, the, the way that I do that now I, I did mention um, a little bit earlier uh, going forwards, we did put uh, a post up on on the Vapor Trails uh, forum in the Tinya Tip section about suggestions for the show. Um, obviously, uh, one of the suggestions was from uh, Madre, um, and and that was for the nine LED torch mod, which we we're showing you tonight. Um, and the other one was uh, was from uh, Sav, which was about the USB charging. Uh, I've been on a mission um, this week and put up a request in a. A few uh, a few forums, um, basically asking if anybody has a uh, a dead Vamo. Uh, two very kind people. Um, I'll, I'll give you their names next week. Hopefully, when we get the uh, when we get the, the Vamos through, have donated uh, Vamos with varying levels of of, of failure. Um, and uh, one will be going to me, and one will be going to Mark, and uh, hopefully we'll we'll go through stripping down the Vamo and actually putting the the board into uh, into something else. Um, the, the promise that we've given those very kind people is they can get to keep the mod uh, once it's made. Now, some of them may scream if I get the wood out again um, and refuse all knowledge and ownership of their Vamo. Um, I'm sure Mark's will be okay. <laughs> With all that said, uh, let's crack on and um, I will show you if I can pick the right video because uh, I've got totally lost now uh, where I should be. Um, and you'll see. Uh, the uh, the next phase. I know a few of you have mentioned epoxy putty and things like that. This is where we're going next. Uh, on with the mod. Right. So you can see me glues uh, set off now, and I, I have a uh, Etsy connection in there. Now what I've done, I've just mixed up some uh, some two part epoxy, um, the putty stuff. Now what I'm going to start doing is breaking off a little bit of time, or not breaking, but just feeding down into this joint here. And what this is going to do, our glue's given us, if you like, a, a, a first fix, like a, a, a little hold there. But this epoxy putty, as, as we, and all I'm doing is I'm using the, the body of the, uh, of, of the torch chair to get this pressed down in. This is going to harden up right the way around the outside, and this will give us an absolute solid connection. And you can, there's other ways of, of doing this. I mean, I've done them with, uh, with coin tops. Um, and essentially that's what we'll, we'll look at at one point, we'll, we'll look at doing the, uh, a coin top um, with Ego Electronics into one of these bodies. Um, but for now this is, this is a, a short, quick, simple one. Now once you've got your, your donut in there, choose a, a fine sort of blade knife and what I do is I, I equal that up with the top of the, uh, the ATI connection in there and then I just take off the excess by running that round in there and then with a damp finger I've got some water standing by over this side you just start to smooth that off inside there and this will actually sort of pack it down as well as you're going now you will get bits where there are little gaps you'll get bits where there are other bits but this is the whole point of, of working this round as, as you're going Now don't forget, as you're going around there as well, to clean off your base of your uh, your ATI connection. So just trimming any of that overspill that's gone in there, just around there. Then you can go back and give it a little polish up. And again, while you're there, you might want to clean up the outside of the mod while it's wet. And we have our top sort of sealed in. As you can see, that's pitted and this and any other, but you can, you can keep polishing that as you go. Fill in any gaps or whatever as, as you're going. 
and there's a blooming gap there, I don't see it on the camera, I can't see it. But essentially, um, that's where we're at. Um, I'm going to put away, let this set, we'll stick a battery in it, and we'll give it a test bait when we come back. Um, see you back in two. Quickly, give it a good mix together. And then, as quickly as you can, you want to make an air into that hole. I'll put that out for a second. Just need to drop this epoxy down on here. Make sure it's in the place that you want it. So I need my USB cable back in, and basically that should be it for that. Get rid of the epoxy, clean up, and I shall be back once it's had a chance to set. So then, the epoxy's had its good 10 minutes or so to set, and what I need to check now is that I haven't glued the USB cable in place. So, yeah, that's alright. You can see the, not sure what you can see on there, but the epoxy's filled in the bottom section, so the hole's minimal, and especially with the USB cable, it looks quite neat. And I need to check that the USB is actually connecting with the board. So I'll just quickly pop this onto a mains adapter. And there you'll see that there's power going to the board. So I'll quickly pop that off. Well, when you do it, I think to do now is just to wire up this board quickly. So I'm going to start with the negative. I'm going to run from the negative on the board to the on switch side of the switch, which is where it's mounted to. So I'm just getting a bit closer in there. Tin up the end of the swallow, tin up the wire, inside, and the other. And side which are already tinned up. Like so. And the other end on the negative side of the switch. There we go. Now for the other side what I'm gonna to need to do is because of the way I've made this, the only place I can solder a positive wire to is going to be somewhere on this wire. So basically what I'm going to do is cut the wire and solder the three parts together. I think. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Let's pop it away. 
two seconds while I strip this wire off. Now that's the wire stripped. I'm going to start by soldering the positive to the board. So. So you pop some solder onto the contact on the board. Okay, the right end of the wire then. Just solder that in place. Now, all I have to do is twist these three wires together and solder it in place. I need to say another idea. I can't quite reach from here. So I've twisted the three ways together and sealed them up with some solder and I'm just going to add a piece of heat shrink tubing over them just to make sure, absolutely certain that nothing shorts out inside. I'll just pop that down and add a little bit of heat. So I just point the blowtorch in the general direction and make it shrink or shrink down. Shorten it off a bit and seal it up. Well, it's still hot. And that's it. Done. charge mode. So pop in the battery. Right, leave the battery out. I'll pop in the USB. I can see the lights flashing and we should change and pop the battery in. It stopped flashing at a constant light. That tells me the circuit's complete. USB charged, 18650 mod, fits in the palm of your hand. See you soon. Right, so we've had a, a little bit of setting off time. Um, what I'm going to do now is, is literally just uh, pop our battery in and I've got here a uh, 18500, slot that in. Screw on the bottom cap. Um, now what I've got here is a, a little skirty thing, uh, I'm going to put that on top because obviously I'll fit because I'm going to put like a little mini tank thing on the top of here flies into shot, screw my little mini tank on and there is our uh, completed mod very quick simple um, mod it's firing away you can hear that's firing there turn this off won't fire so you've got a safety switch on, on the bottom as well let's give it a blast it doesn't look half bad does it very nice Lovely jubbly. So, nine LED torch mod in its simplest form. Um, complete, there we go, in one show as promised. Back to me in the studio. And there we go. Two, two of our mod requests from the forum are complete. Sabs, uh, USB charging, and, uh, and Madray's uh, nine. Um, LED torch mod. There are lots of other requests on the forum 
and uh, I believe uh, it was uh, Ego Manic and Lazy Dog who who requested something to do with the Vamos. Can't promise um, that they will be here and will be ready for next week. Obviously, there's there's a a schedule with uh, as soon as this show ends, um, both me and Mark are, are working on next week's show, um, and we run sort of pretty much right the way through the week doing bits and pieces and then putting everything together on on a Saturday. Um, so. Uh, if they don't come very, very shortly, uh, we will do something else. We may do a little chat thing. And one of the other requests, I believe, in there uh, was from uh, Vapent, which was talking about uh, various duels and, and such. So we may even do a sort of a, a talky type show next week, um, depending on how things go. Failing that, I'm sure we'll find uh, something else to mod. Don't forget, if you've got any suggestions, um, get onto the Vapor Trails forum and uh, and stick them in there. There's a thread um, for reasonable suggestions. Um, and I say reasonable, ah, please. Uh, yes, don't forget this week, uh, coming up tomorrow night, we do have uh, Vapor Scene. On uh, Wednesday, we have VTTV Talk. I must say, loving the new format and, and the phoning things. So technical, that. It's, it's, it's a... It's good watching. Um, and then on Thursday we have the Haze Hour. On Friday is our day off. And uh, back on Saturday with uh, with Mr Nutty himself. Andy Sutton for uh, Saturday SOS. So basically guys, uh, if you do, like I say, I'll say it again, whatever you want to see, uh, just let us know. Pop it in the forum. We'll do our best. And, and as always, if we've got the stuff lying around, lying to hand, we will do our our damnedest to uh, to to get it done and get it out there for you. Um, I'm not I'm not my Vamo is still working. Um, I've had it for a, a little bit now, and uh, I do not intend to uh, to dissect mine when it's in good good working format. So uh, unfortunately, not going to. With all that said, it has been emotional once again, guys. Um, a pleasure. Uh, I'm going to start winding things up now. Um, we will see you back next week. Um, keep the suggestions coming in if you can. I will catch you all later. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Good night now. Tip with Gary Dibley.